Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Chairman, my name is Bernd Kusel. I'm uh, with CBG Conveyor Belt Gateway in Hamburg, Germany, and I'm going to talk to you about uh, radiographic real-time analysis of conveyor belt condition. Most of you will be familiar with uh, conveyor belts. They are the most economic means of moving coal and overburden. But uh, conveyor belts are subjected to uh, very high stress, and that is uh, mainly at the, the feeding point where all the big rocks fall <laughs> onto the belt. Of course, also along the long path or the kilometers, there are many things that can happen to a conveyor belt. So such defects may have really severe consequences which need to be avoided. And so such failures have to be detected before they become uh, really a danger for the operation. The belt is moving through this at full speed and uh, at the same time you would see the inside and also the outside of the belt. The uh, main components of um, this system are the um, receiver panel which is here, then we have uh, the collimator, we have the control unit, and the X-ray generator tube module, and of course, externally, the uh, software which analyzes the data that uh, this system is collecting. The um, X-rays are electromagnetic radiation produced from electricity. And uh, we, we, you see the, uh, the spectrum here where we have radio waves, uh, microwaves, etc., uh, and the visible light for humans. And, uh, the uh, spectrum that we are using is here is the, the X-rays, where we have a wavelength of uh, between 0.01 to 10 nanometers and uh, frequencies between 30 petahertz and 30 exahertz. The system will detect damages, whatever it is, and uh, uh, mark it with a red rectangular. So you can magnify this point and just see what, what exactly is going on. And you may decide, okay, I let the spell run for some time longer or, or I, I take care of it immediately. What, what are these uh, problems that the system will detect? It's uh, like a longitudinal ripping, uh, inclusions, foreign bodies, edge damage, even caking, which would mean that uh, um, it's like a kind of, of negative damage. Yeah? So if you have build up on the belt, the system will tell you, okay, you have to, to, to do something with your cleaning. Maybe you have to improve your scraper system because the belt is not clean. Yeah? Uh, it detects, of course, holes, any kind of holes, grooves, notches, delaminations, protruding cords, broken cords, uh, corroded cords, whatever is, is deviating from the wanted condition of the belt will be signaled. So it is a complete analysis of all threads. I mean, what, whatever rubber or seal coat, whatever is wrong with your belt, this system will tell you immediately. So the system is very easy to use. I mean, this is really, you just plug in, you put in your parameters of the conveyor and it's, it's, it's very simple. Um, remote servicing is possible anytime. I mean, wherever you are in the world, you just go to your laptop, uh, and connect to that system, you can print a complete report of the entire conveyor belt anytime, whenever you want. You could say, okay, I want it every Friday, I want a report, so you get this, this report, and it, it tells you all the issues that the belt has, everything. The system is suitable for 99% of all conveyor belts, up to 3.2 meters belt width, 60 millimeters belt thickness, and up to 9 meters per second speed. And uh, it is compatible with all types of steel cord conveyor belts and of also of with all brands. If it is ex uh, an extremely critical failure, like the imminent opening of a belt splice or slitting, the system will shut down the conveyor automatically. Every splice in a, in a conveyor belt, and you have, you have many of them, dozens in long overland conveyors, you have dozens of splices. Every splice is recognized. Um, the device is very compact. You can, you can uh, retrofit into any, any system. You just need a concrete foundation and some protection and a fence. Some, some questions come up regarding safety because it's x-ray. important is when the system is turned off, 
There is no radiation at all. And it is digitizing the, the entire conveyor belt. You can start and stop the system whenever you want. You can say, okay, I want to start it with the conveyor belt and stop when this conveyor belt stops. Or you can say, I want to scan every day. I want to run it all the time or just once a month, whatever. It's, it's, it's completely flexible. And uh, of course, it can be integrated into the IIoT and then communicate with other software like, like maybe uh, uh, Idlers in the future or uh, with, with gearboxes, uh, motors, so, so you, can co you know what is the optimum time for uh, stopping the conveyor. You avoid that um, you replace a belt because you say, okay, it's now seven years old, uh, looks not so nice uh, and it's out of warranty, I replace it now, I want to be sure. So this is not necessary anymore because the system will tell you when it is time to replace because it knows everything of the belt. Yeah, so, you, so you don't have to guess, you, you just know the facts. If you want to refurbish the conveyor belts, you can determine the best time to do it, yeah, so that still the steel cords are okay, and you can also determine which parts of the conveyor belt should be refurbished and which are not, not good anymore. Yeah? So you, you know, because you know not only the outside, but you know the inside. Uh, so you don't repair bells with, with damaged or, or corroded cords or broken cords. This system has really opened a, a new era of, of conveyor belt health monitoring and it, it's, I would call it really a revolution. I'm expecting that this will be a standard for, for all major conveyor belts uh, in the world, especially in mining. And there is no other system in the world that can do this. Thank you very much for your attention. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.